network module, the session layer is responsible for maintaining the dialog connection between the computer and maintain a secure and safe channel for transmission of data between the systems. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for today's session. To begin with, we will look into what is an OSI model. Moving forward with what is the session layer. Continuing with the functions of the session layer. And at the end, we will look into protocols applied in the session layer. Let's begin with the first setting, that is, what is an OSI model? The OSI or Open System Interconnection Model is a specifically designed set of protocols that govern communication channels through which network devices share information and data. This task of sharing data is divided among seven layers of the OSI model, which works at micro level in a communication channel. Now let's move on to the core topic for the session, that is, what is session layer? The session layer controls and maintains connection between devices to share data among them. It is also responsible for establishing and terminating sessions in the channel. It also checks the authenticity and provides recovery options for the active sessions in case of a network error. Now let's move on to the next heading, that is functions of the session layer. But before we begin, let's take a look at the actual working steps of the session layer in a communication channel. The session layer receives data units from the upper layers in the OSI model or from the communication channel, where it integrates the data with session address. And the session layer is responsible for maintaining the dialogue between the system that are connected in the communication channel. It applies multiple protocols for secure and safe transmission, for example, RTCP, PPTP, PAP. After that, the session data is being transferred to the lower layers in the OSI model. Now let's take a look at the functions of the session layer. Whereas, the first is session establishment. Then we have data transfer, dialogue managing, and synchronization. Let's take a look at each of the functions in detail. The first function is session establishment. It is responsible for establishing connections between systems, also known as sessions. This connection allows user to share data, remote access, and fine handling in a communication channel. It acts as a transport connection that is accompanied in the session establishment. That is, the transfer connection is mapped when the session is released. Through this connection, there are three ways of transport connection, which are one-to-one, many-to-one, and one-to-many. Now let's move on to the next function, that is, data transfer. One of the core functions of the session layer is to handle exchange of data between systems in half-duplex, of full duplex network mode. The session layer also allows the user to initiate data transfer in case of half duplex and simultaneous data exchange in case of a full duplex network model. Now let's move on to the next function that is dialogue management. The session layer is responsible for keeping log data on which the system establish connection to exchange data. This is known as dialogue management. It also uses a token method to maintain the efficiency of the connection by giving the token to the user sharing data in case of a half duplex mode and then transferring it along with the data to the next system. Now let's move on to the next function that is synchronization. The session layer maintains proper interaction between systems and provides a recovery option known as the known state in case of an error. It also uses synchronization points to be added in the communication channel for using a known state in case of an error. With this, 
we have completed all the main functions of the session layer. Now let's move on to the next heading that is protocols in the session layer. The session layer provides multiple network protocols for security, safety and efficiency between the communication systems. Some of the session layer protocols are Real Time Transport Control Protocol RTCP. This protocol provides statistical and controls the information for an RTP session in the communication channel. Then we have Point to Point Tunneling Process PPTP. This session layer protocol provides a way to implement virtual private networks also known as VPN using TCP in the network channel. Then we have Password Authentication Protocol PAP. This protocol in the session layer is used as a password authentication protocol by the PPP control to validate users in the communication channel. With this, we have completed all the important points related to the session layer in the OSI module. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.